Praise God. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise God. I greet you all. It's lovely to see so many people, but being sat here in my flat, it's just wonderful. Um, I greet my own pastor. I greet um, Sister Charlene and uh, Minister Lowe. I greet you all in the name of Jesus. Um, in tribute to our late deacon, he always used to get up and say something that really made me smile. He always used to say, not taking up the time. So I promise you today, I won't be taking up the time. I'll probably be about three minutes if that, praise God. Um, go when, ahead, go ahead. Praise God, I won't take up the time, praise God. But when I was asked to, well rather when I asked Sister Charlene if you know I should speak because you know we needed a, a representative to speak I felt that I should be doing my part um, I'm not one I don't actually funnily enough even though I do talk a lot I don't actually like talking in public but when I thought about the kingdom of God you when you look in the Bible you, you hear the phrases or you'll see rather the phrases the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of God scholars will argue to the to the death really that these two terms are different or some may say that they're used interchangeably but today I'm not here to talk about the semantics of the kingdom of heaven or the kingdom of God I don't think that really matters but in terms of the kingdom of heaven we can look at it as a physical and a, a literal kingdom a place a place that is ruled by a king which as we know is Christ the kingdom of God is more my understanding is it's more metaphorical the reason I say that is because if you look at John 18 36 you can read these scriptures for yourself I'll just be brief Jesus said my kingdom is not, is not of this world if God's kingdom or Christ's kingdom was of this world he said I would have been delivered over to the Jews so make of that what you will Christ the kingdom of Christ is not in this world the kingdom of God is within us and there's proof of that that the kingdom of God is within us, because it says in Romans 14 and verse 17, for the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Now, as we know, during this pandemic, we're not able to physically attend church, so the building might be closed, but we're still having church, and it's the same concept. Amen. Church is not the building, although it is a building. The church are the people, the body of Christ, and it's the same yeah. with the kingdom of God if the kingdom of God was a literal kingdom if we couldn't go outside into that kingdom as we're not really supposed to go outside now then there'd be no kingdom it wouldn't exist but because the kingdom of God is within us as a people that's how we ought to live our lives with I think brother Leon alluded to it before we have to change our position our mindset it's a mentality that we have we must think of ourselves the way that God thinks of us and if we adopt a mindset that says that we are beneath our privilege, then we will never move forward. But if we have the belief and the mindset that we are God's children, then we will know and believe that the kingdom of God is within us. Now, the last yeah. thing I'll say is in Matthew 6 and verse 10, um, Matthew 6, we often know it as there's a portion there that we know as the Lord's prayer. Um, the verse that I struggle with the most and I'll tell you why it says thy kingdom come thy will be done now often when we ask God I know I've asked God many a time in fact daily I ask God I say God thy will be done but when the will of God is done sometimes we might not even agree with it sometimes we might not even be able to accept it but nevertheless if God's will is done in our life there's no mistake and if we are praying to God for his kingdom to come it will be established not only in us but in the world and that won't take place until the millennial kingdom where Christ will reign on the throne of his father David but my encouragement to you saints of God is to have a kingdom mindset know that God he is king over all the earth don't we sing a song sing praises unto him with understanding for God is our king over all the earth. Praise God in Jesus' name.